Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm at work again, and I told you last night when I was at work, um, Holy Spirit was just pouring out knowledge, wisdom, revelation, just astounding me with the revelation he was giving to me. But, and because I was thinking about the spiritual warfare I've been under lately, like it don't seem like the normal spiritual warfare. It seems like it's something different. It seems like something outside of me is trying to get me to not like resist like it wants to be inside of me if I'm making myself clear I'm I'm sorry about this like I don't know what's going on but anyway I'm gonna read because sometimes when God give you the revelation like right then you can find all the right words to say but then later you can't seem to put the words together so I'm just gonna read what I posted and I posted it because I like to witness on all my platforms, whether I'm on YouTube, whether I'm on Facebook, and I'm a writer. And sometimes I can get stuff across better in writing than I can in words. And um, like I said, with technology, we just have so much access to thousands of people. So I like to share scripture and I like to share revelation and just stuff that I know will set the captives free. But I'm going to read this. Um, I'm at work till 7 a.m., I'm a person that is very aware of my surroundings. I operate a lot in discerning of spirits. Lately, I can't see something has changed, but I feel there is a change. Even the pulling on the mind and body to do what is not right is stronger. My spirit keeps saying, if God wasn't on your side, you would cave. So imagine others. I'm going to have to keep hitting this. So imagine others feeling the same pulling. And when I, what I meant by that was imagine others feeling the same pulling that don't know God. Like I'm thinking if God wasn't on my side, I would cave. So I can't imagine what others who don't know God is feeling or going through. And God telling me to pray now more than ever over myself, my kids, my loved ones. That was the first one. And my second post was God been telling me more and more, you in a war, mind control weapons, mind control frequencies, abide in me and my word more than ever. And he was just leading me to look up like mind control weapons and stuff on the internet. And this says China is developing mind control weaponry that could break the enemy's will to resist. China is reportedly developing dizzying brain control weapons that could paralyze enemies and even control them in new report claims. And I wrote, God been telling me it's not just demon spirits, but wicked people sold out to Satan are using mind control technology on the public right now, not just China. Lately, it do feel like something is attacking my will to resist, but I resist because the scripture tells me resist and he will flee, meaning resist the devil and he will flee. This scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. This is James 4, 7 through 8. And I wrote, when you feel these thoughts and urges descend on you, resist, especially if you know these feelings, this overwhelming urge is not me. It is not of you. Then you trust in the one who is greater than everything in this world. Watch he set you free. They can't break your will to resist. He was also showing me like mind control by cell phone. You can look that up. Electromagnetic signals from cell phones can change your brain waves and behavior, but don't break out the aluminum foil head shield just yet. And he was just, just revealing to me how our electronics, the stuff that we're around every day, like the phone, the TV is giving off frequencies, is giving off signals. And I wrote, they are using frequencies to affect human behavior as well as actions. Rebuke those frequencies, those unheard sound waves we are always engulfed in. They resonate a sound, but everything gives off sound. I hope the sound of my DNA and the spoken word of God resonates to counter the frequencies of the enemy. The sound in my DNA, in this body, which is the temple of God, the sound of the name of Jesus, the sound of God in me. I was also, I also posted, life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. That's Proverbs 18, 21. And I wrote, if this is a war of sound, sound waves, how it manipulate behavior, the body, reality, this is a war of words. Because scripture says that life and the death 
life and death are in the power of the tongue. Um, I also wrote, um, speak the word of God, speak life. When your life and soul and everything you can affect in this reality is influenced by sound words, speak the word of God more. So what, so what you're tired of talking, you talk all day about foolishness. And Matthew 12, 37 says, for by your words, you are justified and by your words, you will be condemned. And what I mean by speak life and so and everything, I mean, I'm sorry, I messed up. When I said when your life and your soul and everything you affect in this reality is influenced by sound and words, what I said, when I said speak life, I meant speak life over the unsaved, like rebuke robbery, rebuke rape, rebuke human sacrifice. Just speak the promises of God over people, over your environment, over other people's environments. Um, speak those things that are not yet seen until reality, because by our words, we are justified and by our words, we will be condemned. And this is when it the revelation got different for me a little bit. The Holy Spirit sent me back to the master's voice and she got a prophecy. I didn't really screenshot the name of it, but it's called, if you go to her blog, the master's voice blog, the name of this is called, they will tear you to pieces. And she was saying the snake bite it, how they changed. They became possessed by savagery, savagery, sorry. <laughs> that I could not believe what my eyes were seeing. They flung their phones down. They threw their coffee down. They threw their children and everything else down. And they turned to whoever was near them with a horrifying fixed expression like, I'm going to kill you. They fell on whoever was near them. They grabbed them and began to bite them and to tear them into pieces, almost like our zombie dreams, like the snake bite it becoming zombies. And she was just saying how the snake bited people to hear some type of unexpected, long, loud note from the sky. The note played so long, so loud, so strong and booming. And after that, everything around me in the city erupted in mayhem and bloody pandemonium. And I was saying how I heard a lot of believers say God showed them that those that took the poison changed from sound. What God showed me tonight confirmed it. And I'm going to get into what God showed me that night. The snake bite it turning into zombies from sound. And how if you also keep reading that pop prophecy I was just posting about how she saw murder going on in every section of the street blood spurted everywhere people's cheeks noses ears were turned off by hum torn off by human teeth um the snake bite it became activated like wild animals by the, the sound that came from the sky to the point where they even fell upon each other to destroy one another they turned to whoever was near them even if it was another snake bited person and tore them to pieces my soul began to struggle in this dream. Let me out. I want out. God said to me, these people will kill one another. But you can go ahead and read that prophecy. And that's from, like I said, the master's voice, prophecy blog. And the name of this is called, they will tear you to pieces. I was also listening to this sister, how she was saying um, her dream of home invasions and zombies. And let me go back to her channel for just a moment. Like I said, I'm sorry for not being as organized as I could so be. Good morning. Um, this and the name of her channel is called The Worshippers Retreat. Share this quickly, this dream but you can go watch it. And she was also saying how the... Now I got to find my way back to my page. Sorry. She was also saying how the snake bite it. She knew that the poison changed them. It was, And it was also a sound. Um... I'm sorry, now I lost track a little bit. But then it was like I like when you're seeking out knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know how sometimes God just drop it in your face? I was just coming upon different stuff like out of the blue. The Holy Spirit was just putting thoughts in my hand, my head of stuff to type into YouTube, not YouTube, Google. And I came up I came upon this. And it's called the new field of sono, sonogenetics. It uses sound waves to control the behavior of brain cells. How basically, um, you don't even need surgery to implant a, a um, pacemaker on a faulty heart. Or what if you could control your blood sugar levels without a snake bite of insulin? Or, I'm trying to figure out how to say it. 
But anyway, I'm just going to keep going. And I said, God led me to this tonight as the Holy Spirit was showing me about the mind control and what I read in this article blew my mind. It blew my freaking mind. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how it blew my mind. It says sound control. I discovered that ultrasound sound waves beyond the range of human hearing, which is non-invasive and safe, is a great way to control cells. And they was just saying how, if you skip down, how the technology works in two stages. First, we introduce new genetic material into malfunctioning brain cells using a virus as a delivery device. This provides the instructions for the cells to make the ultrasound responsive proteins. And when I read that, it set off an alarm. And I wrote up here that read this in order for it to work. The host must be injected with a virus that make a certain protein. God in heaven, I pray these people ain't stupid. The poison they push always talk of that protein it creates in your body. So in order for like this sound, I don't know, mind control, this sound to even change your genetics, I'm going to scroll up, I'm going to show it to you. It has to be introduced through a virus that make a protein that's inside of your body in order for it to work, if I'm making sense. And I said, I'm a print this later, but the sound alone after being exposed, sorry, to the virus, which helped the creatures make the protein, the sound alone affected behavior and changed DNA. The sound normal humans can't hear, can't hear it, but I bet these poison people will. I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. And what I mean by that, um, it was saying that in this article, let me read it. My team and I demonstrated the neurons with the protein are sensitive to ultrasonic, ultrasonic frequencies. Sound waves at these frequencies change the worm's behavior. How we genetically altered two of the worms, 302 neurons, and added TRP4 gene that we knew from previous studies was involved with mechanosensation. I'm sorry if I'm making sense, but it was just saying how to sound alone. Um, it changed the worm's behavior from a virus that was injected into them. And they were seeing how it also changed the worm's, um, sorry, you get to the end of the video, everything going wrong. And they was just saying how they also genetically altered two of the worm's 302 neurons. And I think that the sound can even alter the DNA because if it can correct um, stuff like a faulty heart without a pacemaker, then it can change like your genetics. It it can change something physically in through, I mean, in you through what they put in you, if I'm making sense. And what I mean about certain audible frequencies, like I said, is some stuff that we can hear that certain animals can't hear or certain animals can hear that we can't hear if I'm making sense, but I just wanted to share that with you. I just, I think the snake bite has something to do with sonogenetics, how they're going to use sound waves to like change the snake bite it into zombies, or it's going to change their DNA as well. Like whatever is in them, it can sit in them. It can be dormant in them. But when that sound goes off, they're going to change just like she is seeing, just like other people are seeing, like the girl from the master's voice. And it was just like, it was just blowing my mind last night what God was showing me. But I wanted to share that with you guys and be blessed.